I swear to God, I'll pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans. <clears throat> hey, Farva, what's the name of that restaurant you like with all the goofy shit on the walls and the mozzarella sticks? You mean shenanigans? No. Oh. Oh. You're talking about shenanigans, right? Put those away. <laughs> What is going on everyone? We are here at RPM Motorsports. Jeff is over here, not working. What are you doing today? Film a video? Eating Bojangles. After Bojangles, what are you doing? Another Tahoe build video, what are you doing to it today? We're swapping electronic fans onto it and then we're gonna put it back on the dyno and see if we pick up any HPs. So this is a nice little build series you got where you're going through and every step we're seeing how much horsepower you can get. That's right. Very nice. And then it's gonna run a sub nine at the track. At least. <laughs> and over here I got Nick. Hello. Shameless plug to the Instagram right here. At Nick Robinson 71. Here and here and all over the place. Everywhere. Um, today we, we got a install on the truck. This is probably, I'd say, the first step in deleting it. It's actually not deleting it, but it definitely helps. Cameras. Um, I tend, I try not to half-ass anything, so I try to full-ass it a little bit more. So when we're doing the delete, we're going to do a cold air intake as well. So we're going to lose the factory intake. And in the truck here, I have the uh, <coughs> SMB cold air intake. Uh, there's a video of Jeff doing an install on Martin's truck. That is a new uh, L5P truck. This is an LML, so uh, slightly different. So we're gonna do the install on this. I'm working on my own vehicle today with the help of Nick. I know you guys are probably like, whoa, what, what's going on? The world's coming to an end. John's going to turn a wrench. Nick, can you believe I'm gonna turn a wrench? Nope. That's Je why we brought Nick. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they, they can't let me do anything by myself here. So we're going to get set up and uh, then we're gonna start throwing this SMB intake on. We'll see if, you know, I guess I can't dyno it like Jeff Dino says to see if it does anything better, but we'll do a burnout and see if it does a better burnout. All right, so we got everything laid out here on the table that's applied with the SMB cold air intake. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to do a little formal install, so hopefully if anyone's installing these on a truck, they can um, learn a few things from this. Definitely will not be as good as Jeff's video, uh, because Jeff had professional film crew here when he was doing that, uh, and I am professional film crew filming for myself. But other than that, uh, I think we're good to go. Pretty straightforward. Um, Nick is just popping the poppers off right now. Having a problem, oh god. Alright, so first step here is we're going to pull out the instructions. Um, it says disconnect the battery. We're going to skip that step. We're going to unplug all the sensors, get the factory intake off, and then we're going to start to assemble and put this on. Oh. So you can charge your house. All right, so we, we are through like five steps so far, pretty simple. Uh, what you do is you take off this front plastic um, cover, take off the, the rubber seal. You took off the rubber seal on this side, didn't you? Yeah. So you take that off, uh, take off the little support so you have access to the air box. You're going to undo all the clips for the mass airflow sensor, and then we are going to uh, undo the start of the intake uh, from where it goes to the turbo inlet. 
So now, it's like we take some big pieces out, huh? Yeah. Okay. Much. Next step. Oh, God. Ooh, buddy. That's right. Buddy, buddy. What is up, the Moby doc Dick? The doctor. What are you doing today? I am what a. What are you for? Because I'm a hobbit. You're leaving. You're taller than me. Look at that. <laughs> What's up, Nick? Hey, how you doing? It takes two two helpers to do the job of one knowledgeable person. Yeah, video. Oh, you're already videoing this. All right. You're not gonna say hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you got Jeff in the background, kind of plugging away on the hoe. Yeah, I've been helping him a lot, actually. Moral support. You can do it, Jeff. <laughs> Keep going. All right. So we got the uh, intake tube off. You just want to go ham on it. I think so. Or should we take it apart? No. Go ham. Oh. It just pops out. Yeah. Yeah, and then just after you get everything all done, it says take this apart, but if you just... You gotta press over it. There you go. If you just pull it out, it actually just comes right out. Man, that's, that's pretty easy. All right, so five minutes in, this is what we have done. We pretty much got the old intake system off. Um, disconnected the mass airflow sensor, disconnected um, the intake tube from there, removed the factory box, um, and then we got this out of the way, which is uh, connected to my plug-in, which is nice. I definitely won't lose that. So we got everything done there. Now we have to assemble the SMB and then put it in. So pretty straightforward, taking everything out. I saw Jeff do it to the L5P, and it was it was a lot more uh, in depth than just yank a couple things and unscrew a few bolts. All right. So after we got all the sensors swapped over here, we're gonna come back over to the truck. We're we're gonna remove this uh, this plate and all the bolts, and we're gonna make room for the new intake to go in there. So after we get this plate out in the bolts, it says to remove the coolant reservoir. We're, I think we're just gonna leave it in there and we're gonna wiggle the new air box in there. Um, so once you get this hardware out, air box goes in. So that's the next step. This is the uh, SMB cold air intake box here. As you can see on the bottom, it has an opening. It comes with a block plate. Obviously we want all the horsepower, so we're not gonna put this in. This keeps out, I guess they say some engine heat and dust and dirt and everything like that. This is a pavement princess. We're not worried about that stuff. So we're gonna leave this out, more horsepower. All right, so once you have the box uh, bolted down, we're going to put the gasket here, the seal for the air box. Next we are going to do is grab the filter and tubes. These are going in next, and then we're going to connect everything all up. All right, so we have the filter uh, over there by the truck, but this is kind of the setup how it's going to be. This is going to be your filter side. This is going to your turbo. So we are going to slide this in there, put the clamps on there, and uh, pretty straightforward, really not too bad. No, no, no. All right, now that we finally got the intake tube mounted and ready installed, we need to clip back in the plugs. Do you like this over or under? What do you want? We'll go, go under there. All right, so once you get the intake tube on there, as Nick said, all we do is plug up the sensors, and then all we got left to do is really finish up with the filter and the top. All right, while I was getting the filter on there with a little assistance from Jeff, Nick was over there getting the polycarbonate uh, top for this, so you can look down and, and see the intake. Uh, Nick was getting this ready. You gotta put the gasket on there, peel off the protective cover, and try not to scratch it, which Nick did a great job, so we are just going to... Easy now. We're just going to tighten this up here, and that should be the rest of this. Good to go. Uh, just put the trim pieces back on, and that's pretty much the meat and potatoes of putting an SMB cold air intake on. Um, I'm pretty incompetent. How long did it take us? About an hour. An hour. And uh, I don't even say that. Maybe we kind of went slow with the camera and did everything like that. So this is something that you can really throw on there pretty quick and. SMB is by far the best intake for diesel trucks. That's all we run here at the shop. So for all of your SMB need, you can contact us up here at RPM Motorsports. All right, guys, the SMB is on. So we can close the hood on this thing. Good to go. All we're waiting for next is to delete it, which is what I'm excited about because everyone says once you do that, there's no looking back. But since we're here, we've got a little time. Jeff and Ryan are still over there working on Jeff's truck. Here we talk about this. This was uh, sent to me by a company. 
I completely forgot their name. Uh, but is a dash cam, and I guess it's pretty simple to install. I have taken it out of the box once, but I put it back there all nicely so you guys can see what you get. And I guess it's pretty simple. You can pop it in and out of different vehicles. You can use it facing forward, facing backwards. It swivels around, so it's pretty cool. We'll throw this in the truck real quick and uh, do a little review on this as well. Alright guys, so pretty much what we got here is we got the dash cam. Uh, from what I can see here, this uh, mounts up via magnet to uh, this, which will obviously stick to your window. And what's pretty cool about it is it's got a lot of articulation. You can turn it around, face you, face forward. Uh, setup looks pretty simple. Comes with some nice 3M stuff uh, that you can stick on there. You can power it up via USB. They also give you this for a cigarette lighter to run that. Uh, my truck has like 12 USB ports, um, so don't really need this. Uh, and then it comes with this other, I'm sure this starts and stops it, and a bunch of other little accessories. Looks like some 3M uh, like wire clamps or something like that. I should probably open it up and, and tell you guys what it is. Yep, so it comes with a number of different fasteners. Hold the wires in and everything like that. Some nice little sticky tape so you can keep everything out of the way. And I'm not big on instructions, uh, but I think for this, ooh, this is pretty nice. Yeah. All right, well, let's get this in the truck and see how it works. The what? Making noise? All right. I'm not going to take off the sticky part to this because I'm not sure if I want to put this in the cow or in the truck. Uh, I think that'd be pretty cool to have this in the cow if I was at the track and you guys can kind of get a, a gist of what goes on. Uh, but they do have an app that you can view everything with. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold it now, open up the app, and see how everything works. All right, so you uh, log on to the app here, and it'll ask you for a password to connect to it via Wi-Fi. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Join. We should be joining this little bugger here on Wi-Fi. Yep, the lights just changed colors. And it's pretty easy to use, and I will say, like, installation-wise, I don't have this plugged up permanently. I'm just messing around with it now. Um... It seems pretty awesome. All right, so now let's go back. Let's connect with dash cam. Wow, pretty cool. As you guys can see here, this is what uh, you're looking at. You're looking at me and Nick, and uh, that's pretty clear. You can take pictures, record video, and you can get them right from your phone and link them up to Facebook. And I mean, look, if you had this guy just sitting right there, which out of the way, that's actually a pretty cool shot. I kind of dig it. That's pretty cool. Wow, it even tells you speed. Really? Wow, we might need to get this up in the in the cow. Com comment below what vehicle you want to see this in. If you guys want this in the cow, we could definitely throw it in there. Um, I got plenty of cigarette lighters in there. I got one that doesn't have any use, so we definitely can do that. But <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty cool. If you guys would like to see, I'm not sure how accurate how it is uh, mile an hour wise, but you know, it's pretty spot on. It tells you the time, the date, and everything, um, and it's clear too. So I'm pretty excited. Shout out to the people over at Vava for hooking me this, hooking me up with this. Uh, there'll be a link down below if you are on the market for a dash cam. You can pick up this guy right there. Here's the real test. I've raced Ryan before. And, uh... He wants it again. He, I, I think I beat him before, but I have to lift. He's a dually. It's going down. I got you. So we'll see. Ryan's coming back. He's got the dually. His is deleted. Mine is not deleted. I've got the fucking battery dead. Here, give me that. Here, it's good to go. We'll go and line up, Bo. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to make the turn. <laughs> John jumped it. <laughs> Pretty sure you jumped. 
No, I, I, I left spot on. That's how it's done right there. Thank you for filming that. No problem. Here, it looks like we got a father-son race lining up here. We got a father-son race next? Yep. <laughs> this is what happens when you're at the shop. We got... No burnout, no burnout. We got young Nick versus the master father, Ryan. <laughs> Did he flood it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, put some wheel spin. Guys, um, there you have it. I was pulling on Ryan. The SMP intake definitely does provide horsepower gains. Yeah, it's a proven test right there. I will say just from driving it here and back, you can definitely tell the turbo is a little bit louder and it like it tried to smoke the tires in second gear. So um, definitely performance gains. I'm pleased with it. Just laying down the sauce. They say I jumped, but I didn't jump. Uh, I'm driving with my heart, not my eyes. So you can't lose a race like that. I want to thank you guys for watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Does Nick do anything is the question. Does Nick do anything? Oh, a little chirp. Alright, I want to thank you guys for watching. Like always, comment, like, subscribe. I hope you like the action here. A lot more coming at you. Um, we got some key tags coming shortly. Calmero merch in the link below. Excited for the delete coming up, working on the car, getting that ready for racing season, which is right around the corner. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.